Alright guys, this is JL from Aries Acolytes coming at you with another episode of the Transition Series. <clears throat> so, um, we are currently, oh, let me see if I can get some, ah, I just missed Wi-Fi. I think that's a 9 on a Town Hall 8 though, so, um, <clears throat> not the best, uh, content to show. However, let's uh, go ahead and get into the attacks. The one I wanted to show you was the my attack on the 11. Uh, <coughs> and the reason I wanted to show it is because it's this popular Town Hall 9 base that you've been seeing. Um, it, it has a slight variation with that dual sweeper here uh, usually you'll see a sweeper up here uh, in this area and then you usually see another one right here as well um, trying to guard one of these air defenses are usually pointed out or both of them this in this direction and then they try and guard both of these with that pointed out in that direction and usually what you see in this is you usually see a big bomb here <coughs> here here and here and I'm sorry guys I'm a little uh, sounds like my voice is going a little bit hold on give me a second take a drink <clears throat> there we go all right much better much better okay um, and uh, I'm gonna show a different way how to take this base down I believe Gotti uh, has a, a way to take this base down with uh, a stoned goho um, and it's been extremely successful you basically come in with three golems from the bottom uh, right here here then work a golem in this way and then just start sprinkling in hogs <clears throat> I'm I did it with a uh, go vaho with one jump and uh, uh, some hogs, and then I started sprinkling in, hog sprinkling in hogs as we were going. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it was. Well, let me first go over the plan. My plan was I wanted to drop a golem here, drop a golem here, uh, get wizard. Well, sorry. First and foremost, what I wanted to do is sometimes, sometimes. Some of these guys will put the double big bomb here uh, and not in this location, kind of hidden. Um, so I drop a hog here to see if a big bomb would trip because if it was sitting right back here, the, my hog should sit right there and then that one tile radius for the trigger should get the bomb to go off. So I did that, I send that in and then that gives me the dual purpose of getting the uh, CC lured and then I just drop a double stacked poison and what you guys want to do on these poison spells is you want to stagger them so you drop one poison let it sit for I don't know four or five seconds then drop the next one and then that'll take out max drag uh, Whatchamacallit, it even gets down a, if you get a max poison and a level 3 poison, it'll even get down a lava hound. I, I don't rec really recommend it. Uh, the only reason being is because the pups are the bigger concern whenever you're doing a lava hound. Pups in time. So, um, I would, if you see a lava hound pop out of a castle, uh, just ignore it. Um, and save that poison maybe for the heroes and for the lava lava pups when that lava hound pops. So this was a fresh hit three, uh, but because this is such a popular internet base, I, I kind of knew exactly what where the traps were, uh, where the Teslas were, where bug, big bombs were. The only thing I did was drop that one hog to kind of gauge this area. <clears throat> so once I saw that there was, you'll see there's not a big bomb right there. I instantly knew okay big bomb here big bomb here big bomb here big bomb here so i'm thinking i'm gonna set off these two big bombs with my kill squad uh i'm gonna have one jump for right here 
And the reason that I offset the jump here and didn't put it right in the middle is because I wanted my Valks to move in this way, take out that king, then the queen. And then I'd have a heal spell sitting right here for him. And then I'd just start working in my hogs this way. And uh, it's really nice because I get a golem right here tanking uh, for these two defenses, so I get some really cheap uh, kills on my uh, on some point defenses. Um, that's the beauty of the Govaho is that you get a lot of tanking, especially if you can drop a heal on those Valks. Uh, you always should drop a heal on those Valks. Those Valks are very crucial. You want them staying alive because they are kind of your midway tanks through the base. And as they get, they start targeting other defenses um, or get in range of those defenses, you start sprinkling in your hogs. So I come in through this side, drop a jump, drop a heal. Uh, I get access to king, queen, um, and then this core compartment with the town hall. And then hold on, guys. That king and queen and all this section. I'm, I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the replay. There's not a whole lot to it. Oh, well, as you can tell, this base is pretty much, uh, in terms of point defense, it's m just about max except for two two archer towers and and well the expos. And then you do see that they have some baby heroes. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the attack. So you're going to see me drop that hog. And see, I did this in under three minutes, and that was with the double poison. So just dropping that poison. You can see I let that max one to take an effect, and then I'm going to drop the level three right here. Boom, boom, and now I don't have to deal with any CC troops. And then I'm going to get my golem started right in this section. Watch, check this out. Boom, golem down. Wizard, wizard, wizard. Oh, minion. I wanted that building down. Wizard, wizard, wizard. And then I come on this side. Golem down. Wizard, wizard, wizard. Wizard. Uh, get my queen going. She's really clutch. She's in, She starts really just taking down a lot of the base here in the middle. Uh, she's really the one that, in my opinion, gets a lot of these defenses down. So then I got my two wall breakers. Boom, boom. Only needed one for that. Boom. King. Start trickling in the Valks. Uh, one thing, whenever you use Valks, it's usually good to do a test Valk or to use your king for a test. Um, so there it is. Jump spell. Heal spell right there. Valks are sitting in the heal spell. They're going to just mow that king down. Then my king gets on the queen, and boom, I pop the ability. Then here we go. Uh, as you can tell, everything's being distracted by that golem right there. I start sprinkling in the hogs. Nothing's really targeting my hogs yet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then, boom, I drop that heal spell right over that expo, and I get that, com uh, that big bump compartment. Boom, 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 and I still got five hogs left in the bag, and I'm going to drop them here in just a second. Start targeting that um, cannon. And right here, drop the heal, boom. There we go. Everything's, I have nothing really taken, attacking my hogs, and they're sitting in heal. So, right here, you can see both my golems still up. Clean up wizards going. Uh, hogs. Tons of hogs still running around. King work in the middle. Queen work in the outside. And at this point, it's just a total overkill of the base. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, can learn something from that attack on how to take this base down at another another way if you're not fully confident with the uh, three golems and the, and the reason I say that the three golems or this is a different way and it may be a better way is that if you don't have 2020 heroes 
the stoned goho can be a little risky because you just don't have enough firepower with your heroes and enough wizards to really make a good way through the base. You're only bringing about, you know, seven, six, seven, sometimes maybe eight wizards whenever you're doing a stone goho at max. Most of the time you're really relying on your queen to uh, push through the base. So if you don't have that level 20, level 25 queen, um, the stone goho, or even level 15 plus, if you have like a level 10, but you have max valks, um, this is probably the better option, I think, uh, because you'll just get more value out of that, out of that kill squad, you'll get more moving through the base, and that's just going to provide you more taking power for your hogs, and, uh, you'll be able to take out more point defenses, uh, rather than bring that third golem, you just bring, uh, six, uh, Valks, and you sacrifice uh, three or four hogs, and what that means is that you, yeah, you, you do end up sacrificing on the hogs, but since you're taking out more of the base and more in the core, and more is tanking for you in the core, your hogs aren't getting targeted. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, until next time, next time, guys. This is JL from Ares Acolytes signing off.